Sir, have you heard about royalties on Singular 2? Royalties are implemented on most NFT marketplaces, but it was only recently that Singular added this functionality. On Ethereum, royalties were in the 2.5% range, with more recent collections trending towards 7.5. These royalties, in theory, motivate the artists to continue building out their collections and their revenue instead of abandoning and creating anew. Creators, of course, see that traders have been flipping their collections, often for enormous profits, while they themselves earn only off the initials. Collectors, on the other hand, typically see extremely high royalties as adding risk to an already dangerous endeavor. On Singular, the user interface allows royalties from 0.1 to 25%, and many have chosen 10% plus. But the truth is, high royalties can lead to lower trading volume, lower profit for everyone, and cause a slow death, as volume is an important metric of interest. This somewhat scathing article by the Remilia Collective cites problems of collection liquidity, incentives for the creation of tradable instead of valuable work, ethical ambiguity, and the central centralized nature of enforcement, though at the time of publishing they couldn't have been aware of Remark's taint. Vamsi, a game theory economist and advisor to the Chow Sama project, sees similar problems. While acknowledging that royalties are groundbreaking for creators, in a lengthy article written by the Kusamarian core contributor Peenan, he also lays out how fixed royalties incentivize creators to increase trading rather than increase value, which could even lead to bizarre behavior like fudding one's own collection to capture a piece of the sell-off. Vamsi proposes a few solutions to align incentives, such as only giving royalties when NFTs are sold at historically high prices. Or perhaps creators could simply hold 5% of their own collection until they develop their brand? The Kusama Kings recently announced a 50% profit share of royalties for their King's Bounty program. Under is keeping royalties at 0% for his breakout collection. Yumi Arts is offering royalty refunds for those who bought before the migration, and passionate opinions abound. But I wonder if what's really important is to understand what royalties are, their potential risks, their potential productive use. Is what's fair even the right question? And what about Singular's premium collections of Kusamarians and daughters? With a healthy floor and absolutely zero volume, I'm truly at a loss for how to proceed. Sir, I'll need to get your thoughts in the comments below. Have a great night, everybody.